Today is the 25th of January 2022, and on this day, WordPress is intending to release version 5.9. There are a few things you need to know about version 5.9. The good news is that the changes that are coming to 5.9 are really exciting. They're going to give you a lot more options and a lot more freedom in how you design your site, because 5.9 introduces full site editing. You're used to using Gutenberg for building your pages and your posts, but with full site editing, you'll also be able to use Gutenberg to design your headers and your footers, but it requires a special theme. It requires a block theme, one that is enabled for full site editing. As I record this video, there's probably only 30 or 40 themes that would work with the full site editing, but when version 5.9 is released, WordPress is also releasing its 2022 theme, which will be full site editing compatible. That means if you enable the 2022 theme, you are going to see changes to your dashboard. And that's really what I want to show you in this video. The questions I've had are along the lines of, can I update to 5.9? Will it mess up my website? Because I hear about this full site editing. The good news is that if you're using an older theme that isn't compatible with full site editing, and as I said, most themes aren't, then you're going to be absolutely fine. You can update without any problem. So if you have an existing site using an old theme, you don't need to worry about updating, and I would recommend you update. However, I would also recommend that you wait a week or two before you do update, because 5.9 has lots and lots of changes, and it will have lots and lots of bugs. And until WordPress 5.9 has had a chance to be installed on various websites, those bugs aren't going to come to light. So it's always a good idea to wait a week or two or even three or four before you update to 5.9. But the good news is, is once 5.9 is stable, then you can update without any problem. The thing you need to be aware of is that when you update to 5.9, there are features there which are sort of hidden. But as soon as you enable a full site editing theme, those features become available to you. Let me show you. At the moment, this is WordPress 5.9. And if I go over to the appearance menu and go to themes, you'll see I've got the 2021 theme active. The 2021 theme is not compatible with full site editing. I want you to have a look at this appearance menu. We've got themes, we've got customize, which is where you would go in and customize your site. You have access to all sorts of features there to change the design. We've got widgets, got menus, background and theme file editor. That's normal. That's what you've always had. That's what you've got at the moment with a non full site editing theme. But let's switch over to the 2022 theme, which is full site editing, and we'll activate that. And what you can see is that we've lost some items in the appearance menu. We've lost customize, we've lost menus, we've lost widgets, and we've lost a couple of other items down there as well. And they've been replaced by a single entry called editor, which as you can see at the time of recording this video is still in beta. All of the features that you've lost are now controlled by the full site editor. And if I click on that, we'll be taken into the editor. And this is what the site looks like inside the editor. At the top here, you can see we are dealing with the home page template and we've got access to areas, the header and the footer, but I can even click into those areas. So I'm now in the header section and I could go in and edit the header. Then we've got the body of the post and this is the template being used for the posts. And then down the bottom, we have the footer area. And again, I can change this footer area using Gutenberg blocks. That's the power of the full site editor. We can access various parts using the menu on the left where we have access to the site with some options. We have access to templates so we can create our own templates for different parts of the site. And then we've got template parts. And these are parts of templates that you can reuse. So we've got a couple of headers here. We've got three headers and I could put those headers on different pages and posts on my site. But the purpose of this video isn't to go into the details of the full site editor. There'll be some more videos coming on that. The purpose of this is to answer the question, can I update? If you've got an existing site, there's no problem updating to 5.9. The theme that you're using is very, very unlikely to be enabled for full site editing. So when you update, you are going to see very few differences. You'll end up with the same appearance menu, the same options you've always had. So it's safe to update. If you're learning WordPress for the first time, I would recommend you steer clear of these full site editing 
themes because they add a huge level of complexity to WordPress. If you want to learn how to use WordPress, use a non full site editing theme like 2021 or any other theme that is currently available. That way you can learn the basics of WordPress and leave your theme to worry about all of the design issues. And then when you're ready to learn full site editing, you can do that. And that will be useful when you want to create and modify the theme or you want to create a theme from scratch. You can do that with a full site editor as well. So the summary then is you can update to 5.9, but I would wait for a while, two, three, four weeks, wait for it to settle down. When you do update, you'll end up with lots of new enhancements in WordPress. But if you're using a non full site editing theme, you'll still have the same dashboard. And to be honest, most of the resources you'll find on the internet at the moment are going to show you this menu, not the full site editing menu. We're going to start seeing more and more tutorials for using the full site editor. But until you learn the ins and outs of WordPress, I would stick with a non full site editing theme. When you learn how to use WordPress, then by all means, go and experiment with a full site editor. And that will give you a lot more flexibility in the design of your site. So I hope this video has helped. You can leave comments below if you have questions and I will do my best to answer them. But just be aware that 5.9 has a lot of new changes. It will have a lot of bugs. And so I know the temptation is to update immediately. I would say do that with caution because you could end up breaking your site.